Welcome to VIN Number Locations, your go-to guide for all things automotive. Today, we're diving into a topic that often leaves car owners scratching their heads, the mysterious world of onboard diagnostics, or as they're more commonly known, OBD ports. So let's demystify OBD ports together. Ever wondered what that little port under your car's dashboard is for? Well, that's your onboard diagnostic, or OBD port and it's a gateway into your car's health and performance. Emerging in the automotive scene in the 1980s, the OBD system was initially created to monitor and control emissions. Over the years, its functionality has expanded, and now it provides a comprehensive overview of your car's engine and other key components. The OBD port serves as a physical interface enabling a connection between your car's diagnostic system and external diagnostic tools or scanners. The main function of this port is to transmit data and diagnostic trouble codes or DTCs from the car's computer. These codes can indicate a gamut of issues from a minor sensor glitch to serious engine problems. Mechanics have long used OBD scanners to quickly identify and rectify vehicle issues. But the tide is turning. With the availability of user-friendly OBD scanners, many car owners are now taking the reins and using these tools for basic diagnostics and maintenance checks. So where do you find the OBD port in your car? While the exact location can vary depending on your car's make and model, there are a few common spots to check. Under the dashboard on the driver's side is the most typical location. It could be near the steering column close to the center console or under the lower dash panel. Some cars may have it near the fuse box, which could be under the dashboard, by the driver's side door, or in the glove box. In some cases, it might be located in or around the center console area, possibly hidden behind a cover or panel. To find the exact location, check your vehicle's manual. If you're interested in performing your diagnostics, the first step is to get an OBD scanner. These devices range from simple code readers to advanced scanners with extensive diagnostic capabilities. Once you've got your scanner, find your OBD port and plug in the scanner. Turn on your car's ignition to power the scanner. Some scanners might require the engine to be running. Follow the instructions on the scanner to read or erase codes. Reading the codes is just the first step. Each code corresponds to a specific issue, which you can look up in the scanner's manual or online databases. While not all problems are easy to fix, Understanding the codes can help you make informed decisions about car maintenance and when to seek professional help. So, why are OBD ports so important? They provide an invaluable tool for understanding your car's health and performance. With user-friendly diagnostic scanners, even non-professionals can undertake basic vehicle diagnostics. Whether you're looking to cut down on maintenance costs, or you're simply intrigued by automotive technology, Learning to use an OBD scanner can be both empowering and rewarding. Before we conclude, let's share some tips and tricks to make your experience with OBD scanners smoother. First, ensure your vehicle is in park or neutral before you start the scanning process. Second, make sure your ignition is on but the engine is not running. Third, remember that not all codes necessarily indicate a problem. Some are manufacturer specific and may require additional research. Lastly, always clear the codes after fixing the issue. This will ensure that your scanner is ready for the next use. Remember, the more you understand your car, the better you can maintain it. So next time you see that little port, you'll know it's your car's way of communicating with you and helping you keep it in top-notch condition.